07. Oh, baby. Rolling Stones, only rock and roll Stones on their way to Houston. They are on their way. They're coming November. They're taking the long way. they got to go everywhere else first. But they will be here, and we will have tickets. They'll finally have it down right when they get here. Absolutely. It's, it's neat. 726 in the morning. Uh, Ted, yeah. check this out. Yeah. I was talking. Well, first of all, this bicycle fad that I'm on this is my big hobby right now. This month. <laughs> Special. And, uh, hey, look here in the Houston Post. Grown-ups on bikes nationwide now outnumber kids on bikes. Not since 1900 has that been the case. Is that right? I actually contributed to your habit. Yes, you did. You got me a padded gel seat for my butt. Gel seat, which is the same type material. That it's a space age material. It's actually the same material you were telling me that goes in breast implants, which yes. is very weird, and I feel a little funny about setting up. Do you? But it makes you pedal faster. Frankly. You do. Yeah. Because you don't want to put too much weight down on there. Not too much pressure. <laughs> yeah. I thank you for that. I've been riding my bike a lot. 26 after. In a related story. Mm-hmm. Abstaining from sex won't help athletes, scientific study says. I've worried about this, I can't tell you. You know the 10K run, the dome run? Yeah. I abstained for weeks. Really? Just to make sure I could finish Your the wife race. helped you with that. Yeah, she said no problem. Athletes preparing for competition need not shun sex for days or weeks for fear <laughs> of diminishing their performance. This is a new study. Yeah. I remember our, our football coach would say things like that. Oh, well, how do you say that to a high school guy? They would, in, he would about? infer it, and we would all say, oh, damn, okay. Like we were really getting something. Well, right. you know, the problem is, though, so you could tell then, because yeah. all the guys' faces would break. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. Let's go to the phone. It's a whole different thing. we got a trivia one... thing pending here. Hello, Z107 Trivia, Rock Trivia. Hi. Hi. It's Roberta Joan Anderson. We want her name, her stage name. Stage name? Yeah. Uh, could be Roberta Flack? It's not Roberta Flack. That's <laughs> not a rock question, Sorry. for goodness sake. Z107, no. rock trivia, hi. Um, yeah, is it Cher? It's not Cher. Not Cher. Oh. Cher had like a Polish name or something. Hey. Some weird... Hey, hey. he's up. <laughs> Z107. Oh, I have uh, a bust for James St. James. He's married a comment not long ago that, um... Oh God, now Have we got the right line here? I don't You're know. You're calling with a criticism of James St. James. Would yeah. you put her on hold for just he a moment here? Mike Lee was an on the uh, Arsenio Hall show, and he was on the Arsenio Hall show on Who? June 28. Spike uh, Lee or Spike Jones. Ma'am, thank you. Hold on. Uh huh. Dick, talk to him. <laughs> Z107, Rock Trivia. Yeah. Grace Slick. Not Grace Slick. Right, let's try another one. You think that's a fake name? Huh? Good Lord. Z107, Rock Trivia. Yes, is it Joan Jett? No, it's Roberta Joan Anderson is the is the real name. We're looking for the bogus name here. Stage name? Okay. Ron right. Henley tickets are on the line, and we, we have try no one winner. More, yeah, one more. Right. Z107 Rock Trivia. Ah, uh, geez, I had uh, Joan Jett, too. Let me think, let me think. Uh, uh, well, why'd you Lita stay Ford. on the line? Hmm? Lita Ford. Lita Ford. Lita Ford? No. <laughs> you, guys, you know, think classic rock. Think Freedom. somebody was performing 15 years ago. That's right. Hello? 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 Hello. Z107. Yeah, uh, would it be Stevie Nicks? No, no. I've lost interest now. Z107 Rock Trivia will do it again here in a minute. 390 <laughs> That was this, exciting. You want to yeah. go back to the woman who's complaining about <laughs> James? Complaining about James St. James? Yeah, why not? That's all, all right, we've got. What him. was your problem? Well, I'm not complaining. It's just that I know he's coming to town, and I think you ought to bust him because he said something that wasn't true. James. He said that Spike uh, Jones was not on the Arsenio Hall, so he wasn't going to do it because... He was having a riff with Eddie Murphy and everybody. Yeah, there was a big was thing. Yeah. on the Arsenio Hall show on June 28th. Did you say Spike Jones? Yeah. You mean the guy who did All I Want for Christmas is My Two you Front met, Teeth? Yeah, you met Spike Lee, I Spike think. Spike Lee, yeah, yeah, that's him. Right. Spike Jones hasn't been on Arsenio Hall either, I don't right. think. Well, Spike oh. Lee <laughs> has been then, okay? Okay, well, we thank you. When James comes to town, when he's on our show, we want you to call back and bust him. Be sure to call. Well, but I want Don Henley ticket for even noticing, you know. Ma'am, oh, ma'am. What you're... he says, whether it's true or not, ma'am. I, I find out. Ma'am, get control of yourself. Get here. control. <laughs> no, I can't. You can't just call and ask for stuff. When we don't, we can't even prove this. No, show well, us video. I can prove it. I can tell you what day the. Dick, <laughs> Dick, <laughs> Dick, talk to this woman. Talk to her. We gotta get out of here. Z one seven seven thirty in the morning. Christine Carson Ooh. program. It's starting to tick me off. On your velvet throne and slowly. and Carson in the morning on Barry White Day here at the radio 
Oh, it is Barry White's birthday. Barry oh, White. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. He's a local boy from Galveston. Oh, honey. I sound more like Elvis. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't do a Barry White. Happy birthday, Barry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 22 minutes. That's right. Till 8 in the morning. Uh, the name Roberta Joan Anderson apparently means nothing to our listeners. We'll try a couple calls. It's a trivial Tuesday. We're trying to get a winner. We've got Don Henley concert tickets on the line here. You want to throw in some IMAX? Maybe we need to up the incentive on it. All right, throw a pair of IMAX. Yeah. IMAX tickets, too. Z-107, Rock Trivia. Hi. Uh, yes, uh, do you have an answer yet? Uh-uh. Is it Joan Baez? Not Joni Phony. Joan no? Baez, Not no. Joan Baez, no. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. Hello, Z-107. How about Janis Joplin? No, baby. No. Sorry. Okay, so, thanks. Sorry, baby. Z-107. Oh. Joni Mitchell. Did you say Joni Mitchell? Sure did. All right. All you right, right, winner. All right. At last, finally a winner. Who is this? This is Sean Stark. How old are you, Sean? Uh, 21. 21? Yep. A 21 year old just that? picked this off. Finally. Are you Joni's son? No, no, no. Okay. Not that I know of. No, we'd know about it because Joni would have put it on one of her albums. We did. Everybody who went out with her got a, a, you know, a piece of one of the songs. That's right. <laughs> Where are you calling from, bub? Uh, Houston. All right, hold on. Hang on, we got a winner there. He's got the Henley tickets and IMAX, too, Dick. All right. Swinging Dick. Don't Working screw the that. phones there, and he'll take care of the... Do you want to uh, go to the helicopter? You think he's here, or should we, should we give it a whirl? Helicopter traffic? I'm not into that. You want me to do the screen? Yeah, you do From it. From the traffic computer. For Art's gentlemen. sake, for Art's benefit, you Art, do the traffic. Art uh, Vuolo. Volvo. Volvo. Uh, uh, Volvo. Uh, Art is a, is a guy who, uh, he tapes. Yeah. Well, he... And uh, we're on TV this morning. He's making us immortal. That's the deal here. Art is with us, and he's got his mini cam and his Mr. Microphone, and he's working us into his program. Well, the rumors were this was our very last program. That's right. So, uh, Art, well, Art Volo. Volo. How do you say that, Art? Volo. 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 Art Volo. It's got an extra uh, syllable or something in there, though. Yeah. Something's wrong. He's a Anyhow. Detroiter, ain't he? He's in from Detroit, and he's taping us this morning. So, we, we know sound a little funny. If we sound like we're, like, you know, just milking it for the camera, it's because we are. There you go. All what right. are we doing? We, uh, Traffic. We have a winner. Highway we're 288 on. northbound at uh, North McGregor. A major accident is off the shoulder. HPD is on the scene. Traffic is backed up to the loop. Wimfern, southbound near Breen. Major accident. Traffic control in the area. Well, who cares? Use Taub to Fairbanks, North Houston to avoid the problem. East Freeway inbound at Federal Minor Accident. And, of course, that thing on the Katy, we're not even talking about that anymore. What a horrible We'll not mess. be able to get off the Katy under the loop. I don't know, December? December, it is. Master Fleet oh, done. now. Now he shows hey, up. Hey, look at the clock. Will you guys look at the clock? We're what running late. We're running late. <laughs> stop your bitching or we'll turn you on. We're doing special stuff here for the camera now. Can you, oh. Do you have any non-repetitive -re report there? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> well, I think he covered it, so goodbye. Did you talk about the 288 accident? Uh, yeah. Did you tell him it was clear? No. Did you tell him it was backed up to the loop? Yeah. Did you talk about an, air, an accident on West Airport at Hillcroft? Yeah. Well, then you covered it. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Thank you. See section A of today's Chronicle. And which to Harris County Jail and now buying hit singles on cassettes instead of 45s? See why take... This is not a test. This is rock and roll. and Carson in the morning <laughs> on Z107. 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 And, of course, another record that's been cleared for airplay here on the giant enormous Z. Head Games. Head Games right approved. There. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. It's about, what, 13 and a half? Make it 14. Until 8 in the morning, Christy and Carson program is underway right now, and we've got all sorts of important information to pass on to you. Uh, Take it, Tedsky. Okay. Z-107 and Miller Lite are presenting an end-of-summer city beach volleyball tournament on Saturday, September 6th. Really, if you've participated in these before, what a blast. Well, 
They're Where for be, athletes. How do I get into this? Thing? Well, the first thing you have to do is abstain from sex beginning today. No, wait a minute. I've got an article here. You don't have to any longer. These I don't think volleyball players ever abstain. No, I don't either. You look at these guys. They don't even abstain during the tournament, which bugs me. <laughs> That's right. right, and we have proof you don't have to anymore. So how do you get your team Here's into this deal. thing? It's at the Sand Volleyball Courts in Memorial Park. You know, we constructed these a couple of years ago along with Miller. You constructed through the, through the benefit, you know, through the money we raised, we put these in there, in the park, gave them to the city. I'll be That's the kind of people we are. So here, here's your mile. It's 30 bucks a team entry fee, which is nothing. It's like three bucks. Uh, you get your team, uh, your team gets refreshments, a catered lunch from Pepsi, Little Caesars Pizza. Uh, here's the number, 968-1000. You better do it after nine because no one's here right now. That's right. Give uh, a shot and join us for volleyball. And coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, world famous police blotter. Hi, this is Michael Landon. I can't give. Get on, whatever. John Landon, the other one. You know, rumor has it that you are actually his son. <laughs> Born out of wedlock. John Landers, illegitimate son. True stories of weird crime and sleazy behavior. And here they are, Captain Christie and Inspector Carson. This is the city. Houston, Texas. We work here. We think we're cops. Good morning, Captain. Here we are with these shocking and appalling stories of true crime. Each story is true and must be revealed now. I'm ready. I'm ready to begin. All right, you've got the first caller. California State Senate has passed a bill making it illegal to kill your pets to eat them. <laughs> the legislation authorized oh, this is... and authored by Representative Jackie Speer. Uh -huh. Originally referred only to cats and dogs, but the wording has broadened after Asian groups protested that they were being unfairly singled out. Because they go right for the dogs. <laughs> uh-huh. Measure now refers to the eating of traditionally or commonly kept pets. Llamas. <laughs> Left hanging was the fate of creatures like rabbits or chickens, whose lives as pets can depend on their master's appetite. Absolutely. <laughs> Shocking. Well, California would be first to pass such Do a law. Do not eat your dogs. Know the law, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Lawyer Olivia Howard was charged with attempted murder after she chased her police officer husband in her Jaguar XJ6 for two blocks and ran over the off-duty lawman, rendering him unconscious. Said police director Claude Coleman, <laughs> We knew he was having marital problems, but we never knew it was so bad. <laughs> oh, the Howards my. both practice law, doing a lot of work in marital counseling. <laughs> they did. We have to report this. <laughs> That's our job. Yes. 17 men arrested for prancing around in Angham, <laughs> England field, clad only in their sexy ladies' underwear. Ah! The Bo British are known for this. They blamed a heat wave for inducing temporary madness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Most were married. A court in Surrey fined them a total of $3,000 for gross public indecency. <laughs> All right, his final story in Blotter this heat. morning. It was the heat, not the humidity. A man who was accused by his wife of trying to kill her, Dateline El Paso, incidentally, of course, says the whole incident was just a misunderstanding debt. What happened? Well, Don Block of El Paso was charged with attempted murder after his wife Margaret awoke at 4 in the morning to find this clue. A hose leading from the exhaust pipe of the couple's car to her bedroom window. <laughs> <laughs> but her husband denied any foul play, claiming he'd been making hot air balloons out of, ah! out of plastic garbage bags. <laughs> yeah, at four in the morning. <laughs> then he is going to use the hose to drain a new water heater that he that he had placed there in All his of wife's this window. Very early. Yeah, early <laughs> before the sun comes up. <laughs> Margaret told police the water heater's nowhere near her room, nor did it need to be drained. She also claimed her husband had been drinking after an argument. Yes. When questioned by police, Don commented, Think about it. If I was going to kill my wife, I wouldn't have done it in my own house, would I? No. I would have taken her to Mexico. They would have never found her there. <laughs> then he added quickly, Ooh. Not that I've thought it out. Or, or anything. Or anything like that, yeah. <laughs> when you see terrible crime happening, get it to us. Police blotter 3050 Post Oak, Suite 1100, Houston, Texas, 77056. And remember... Just the facts. I shot Sheriff, but I did not shoot the dead. 107, 8 in the morning, the Christian Carson Show, starring me, Big Ron O'Brien. <laughs> With these words. That's right. About Nutrisystems. There you go. 
Here's that number. It's 995-5000. You know, funny that I have that memorized. Funny it should be Barry White Day. It is Barry White. You're on the show from Galveston. Barry White. Oh, honey. Baby. Oh, it's it's baby. too late. It'd be too late for Barry White. I'm fat. <laughs> I'm really fat. <laughs> and I'm sweaty. Barry, dial this number. Di have have one of your people dial this number. <laughs> That's right. His finger's a little too That's big. Right. That's right. 995-5000. Nutrisystem. It worked for me, Big Ron. It'll work for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious about this. How it works, tell them seriously, Ted. How well, does the program the way it works? Work? Basically, they put you on a maintenance program, Paul. Yeah. They allow you to. You eat. mean after you lose the weight? After you lose the weight, you get on a maintenance program. Right. They re-educate you to eat. Do you have properly. to go to a camp? Or to go to a box. You get in a box for about 14 days, no lights, and this bell ringing all the time. 30 days in the hole. <laughs> And yeah. This guy walks around and says, what we have here is a problem, a failure to communicate, failure to lose no, weight. No, they put you on a maintenance program, and it really works, okay? Right. You will, you will keep the weight off, and now's the time, frankly, I know you don't want to hear this, mm -hmm. it's only a couple of months away from the holiday. All right. So if you want room for the turkey, let's get on it right now, 995-5000. You know, whenever I put on a couple extra pounds, it's usually right after the holidays, right after Thanksgiving gorging, I say, i got to lose a little bit right. here. Let's do it ahead of time. What you're saying is bank those calories. That's right. Get down to a totally emaciated state before Thanksgiving, and then guilt-free, you'll be able to eat all that food. Not only that, but they'll teach you how to eat. You'll go for just one drumstick or just one wing, not well, the entire turkey. Exactly. And in Nutrisystems, I visited the place. They teach you to eat at attention, just like an officer candidate school. Right. You reach down, you take a bite, you put it in your mouth, and then you, you then drop the fork and put your hands to your side and while then, you chew. And then chew. Now, this has a tendency to inhibit any overeating. Yes. Well, it, it gets cold. For me. But that's <laughs> cool. The number is 995-5000. Give them a call right now. Lose that weight. Today. This Today. fall is the start. We've got the biggest names and the freshest faces this fall, including Billy Crystal and Robert Townsend. And it has been set up to do help defray the cost of caring for that well. Cetacean enthusiasts, you can send your donations to the Moody National Bank in Galveston. Not a lot of changes at the box office over the weekend. John Candy's Uncle Buck continues to ride high, leading the box office race for a fourth straight week. Second place still belongs to Parenthood. The new number three was the martial arts film Kickboxer, which made its debut last weekend. Left in the season, mathematically, it's not looking good for the Astros. They'll take on the Padres again tonight. We'll have a look at the traffic and the weather next on the Z. Hertz Rent-A-Car brings Houston an office system. NEC authorized dealer for NEC Pro Speed 386 modular laptop computer. When you think computers, think ESI. The Deep Discounter, 682-1400. 806 with a look at traffic. Here's Fred Zeppelin in the Z-Copter. A problem has just popped up on Highway 290, coming inbound at Mangum, an accident in the right lane, backing things up before Pinemont. Other accidents have cleared away. North Freeway inbound at Cavalcade, with things backed up north, uh, near Tidwell. 288 inbound at Holt, backed up to Derry Ashford. I'm Fred Zeppelin in the Z-Copter on Z-107. And Houston weather looking pretty much the same. Partly cloudy, a 30% chance of showers by the afternoon. High getting up to 92. Low tonight about 70 and a little bit cooler tomorrow. High getting up to about 88. Sherry Evans, Z107 News. Now more classic rock and roll with Christian Carson on Z107. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real Paul Christie. I want to thank the bogus Paul Christie from Detroit for introducing me here this morning. And ask him why. Why did he take my name? Of all possible names, Johnny Holiday was available. He could have done that. Could have been the real Bob Steele, but no. Yeah, thanks anyway. Z107. Don't bother coming around here no more. It's our last show. Now yeah, forget it. It's over. This is it. Christy and Carson. It's been great, though. A, a big goodbye. Wet big memory. goodbye. That's right. Just a, just that piece of lint in your pocket. Twelve minutes we'll after eight on. in the morning. Hey, it's partly cloudy today. A thirty percent chance of a shower for tomorrow. High today, ninety-two. Tonight's low, seventy. Standard Gulf Coast weather right now at seventy-seven All degrees. Right. Traffic computer yeah. airport west of the Gulf Freeway. Major accident reported. Just in. Uh oh. Just happening. North Freeway inbound at Cavalcade. Minor accident cleared to the shoulder. Right. That's all I can tell. And traffic is uh, starting to ease up then, I guess. This so you morning. had a pretty good weekend, huh? I say weekend because I was off yesterday, so. This that is, is my true. Monday. This is my Monday. How did the thing go Saturday? Was the, uh, what, the Fame City 
Fame oh. City. Fame City. Fame City. I was a Fame City. Uh, was also, Charlotte. You remember Charlotte? We used to work with her. Yes. At another station in town. Mm -hmm. Lovely blonde. She's now a PR out there. Okay. And you were at the Mr. Frisky's. No, no, no. It's the Frisky. Frisky Cat Food. It's the friskiest cat in America contest. Ah, yes. A lot of cats. There you go. And I have a special uh, record for you. You do. That's what yes. this thing is right here. Now. Go ahead. Because you know I'm a cat lover. I have this now. This is for you. Let me listen attentively, then. If you fry your cats in Crisco, make them tasty and crispy everywhere. Am I going to hear from your wife? I hope again. my kids aren't listening to this. If you fry your cats in Crisco, <laughs> you won't miss them. Good eating. <laughs> that's good. St that's classic rock, too. That's Scott McKenzie. That's right. Can't do this in California anymore. Can't eat your pets. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about All that. right. 14 after 8 o'clock at the giant enormous Z. Sherwin Williams and Be courteous. They explain to you what you need to have done to your car, and I appreciate it. If you want your car to last longer every... Right. Jiffy Lubes are conveniently located all around the greater Houston area. Call 266-LUBE for a Jiffy Lube near you. Okay, okay. Hang all on right, a second. All right, Z107, somebody on the warm line will go live on the air. Hello. Oh, no. You're on the secret line and you're Who is that? It's Karen. It's my wife. Uh, I knew it was. Are you calling over the cat thing? Karen, don't say it because no. we'll get a fine. I'm calling over the abstaining thing. The abstaining from sex story? Yeah. Yeah. What's your comment on that, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> ma'am, an yeah. unknown woman. I'm, I'm not a ma'am. This is just some strange woman I don't know on the phone asking about the abstaining from sex story on the private line. It was really fun driving to school with the kids listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's our last show oh, here. At the, uh, this is part of the price you pay for being married to a disc jockey. <laughs> a lot of times your personal life goes right on the air. Let me tell you, I'm overpaying. Times. <laughs> Here's a, lot a, woman says, yeah, a lot of times your personal life goes right down the rat hole. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, we're going to have to put you on hold. Good. And we'll discuss this uh, new this news story with you a little further. Hold on, please. Thanks. These are the kinks. Classic rock. You See, really you got me now. I'm seven. You're in. Let me repeat that. Z107, 107.5. Well, that's if you want to lock it in digitally. Lock it in. Houston's only classic rocker, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Paul Christie, Ted Carson with you this morning. Here we are. Of course. Here uh, we are. Right this here. <laughs> I am on camera. This segment of the Christie and Carson program is brought to you by Hertz. We like to call it the best kept secret well, in Houston. We have this spot on a little later, so everybody doesn't hear it, because this is a secret, frankly. No, no, no. This is prime time. Well, what's on a, I mean, you know. The, we don't want, we the don't secret want the Ted, the secret Ted, right, is that the, the dealers, dealers buy these used cars from Hertz Rent a Car. The dealers want a clean, well-maintained vehicle right out front there on their lot. That's right. Now they buy them at auction from Hertz. Here's the best kept secret. Well, here's the deal. Frankly, you, you can intervene. You can get in on this. Right. All right. We'll give you a couple of addresses here in a second. You'll be able to go in and buy it before, frankly, the middle guy touches it. That's right. In fact, you could become a middleman. If you want it. Well, yeah, if you want to really get into it, yeah, turn it into a business. But uh, we're generally just talking to the guy who oh. wants a car. Oh, all right. Okay. Here's it's what not you a bad do. idea, though, and we might consider getting this into it. This is something we need to get into. This is our last show. We it. need a new professional. Okay, so that's it for Hertz. We're not going to tell you anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're not? No, here you go. Here's a couple of locations you can check this out, all right? All right. 5703 William Clayton Parkway between 59 and Intercontinental, all right? 8100 Monroe. Uh, all right. Gulf Freeway at Monroe exit. Uh-huh. All right. And then there's uh, one final location. That's 16825 Katy Freeway, Ted. Because, Let's go babe. In go in there and tell them Ted and Paul said, where be my middleman car? Where be my car? It's Hertz, the best-kept secret in Houston, 824. This now. news is a service of Houston Cellular. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. You can say a lot in 60.